friends so today i will uh, share with you this incredible ai tool that every researcher academician and phd should have or anyone who is working with the research in academia so this is actually scholar c ai just go to the google and click on this so this is scholar c click on scholar c log into scholar c either using your email or google or sources so i'm already logged into the here and what a scholar she does for you in scholar she does some incredible things for you like that if you wish to read a paper or multiple papers for any research project for your literature review for making presentations or any sort of academic work if you wish to uh, have an in-depth knowledge summaries and analysis on any kind of academic work or paper this is just matchless i will quickly show you how now just click on this add paper you can add a paper directly from the website or from your zotero library or you can drop up from it from your computer laptop so if i click here and i'm going to one of the papers say for example i'm going to this paper so this one paper i'm just uh uploading it from my computer and see what this scholar c ai does for you in just a matter of seconds so here it is see what this scholar c ai does for you that uh, on the left hand side you can see that uh, it does three to four things first that it creates a summary for you the scholar c ai will create a, a section by section summary of the paper like in this paper it has created a snapshot of that paper a key finding separately an objective method results and all the section and at the end you have got this option of dig deeper in this dig deeper you can actually ask the questions related to that certain pdf or paper you uploaded just like you uh, just do a chat in uh, uh, gemini or uh, chat gpt then it gives you the analysis here the analysis means that whatever paper or the work you will upload scholar c will do a research analysis of that uh, research article that research work just like an any uh, uh, appraisal like it will see the research for its quality and did it uh, fit in the uh, in comparison to previous researches uh, so how well that work is carried out and how well that is presented or written and at the end you got this the original text section by section so i will show you uh, just quickly these steps like if i go to this summary okay this is my summary actually and this is give you the title here and after title you have got this snapshot of this paper just a three four lines that what this paper is and how uh, what it does that's a study analysis about something and it's related to how many studies and what is it about then it key findings it gives you a key finding is in a points in bullets so in this paper it gave us just a four bullet points and objectives then methods just click here it will give you the more detailed methods that this paper was actually carried on and then results conclusions then key concepts it give you all the keywords that are related to that certain paper and here in dig deeper in dig deeper you can actually ask the question related to uh, this pdf like you can ask that what are the top three results from this study just ask it and it will give you the results so here it is you asked a question and here the scholar see his answer and after that actually you can go to analysis i think this is the most great part of this scholar say that that it analyzes uh, the paper it does the very good uh, appraisal of all the things that you upload here so if you are going for the literature review if you are going for writing a manuscript or <clears throat> if you uh, wish to you know create a very good journal club presentation for any new research so just go through this and it will analyze this whole paper in just seconds in terms of research quality like it's telling that it's a fair quality paper it tells you the sample sizes what were the effect sizes and how many times the research has been cited in other work then in research comparisons it tells you the limitations of this paper how this paper suggests the future work you can get the ideas from here then at the end uh, what are the practical implications of this paper if you say for example you are discussing a new trial on a drug and you can you know just go through this and think how beautiful and uh, out of great content this will create for your paper and then study subjects it give you the study subjects of that paper that how many individuals were involved in the paper and what were the characteristics okay i'm not going in their detail it's giving you the details of statistical analysis of that paper 
and this is your original text so you can copy or paste any of its sections for your usage and this is i'm using a free version uh, the paid version have got more features you can save it to your library you can export uh, or say for example i did this paper and i want to export you can export it in the word format you can export it in a powerpoint in excel sheets in Microsoft, and you can export it as an Zotero. You can say, for example, I wish to see a PowerPoint of uh, this paper that I'm going to present at a journal club or with my peers. Just click on this, and that's with this single click, the PowerPoint presentation of this particular research article will be created for you. That's it. See, here we got this single click PowerPoint presentation for this particular paper. Here it is. See, it just created the things for you. You can then uh, let her go and customize this in your PowerPoint and it has just created some 17 slides like in practical applications of that peep, uh, future works related to study limitations. It gives you the how study subjects were their funding and support and everything. So this is how actually uh, you can use this uh, powerful PowerPoint presentation. I hope that this scholarship tutorial will really help you in your future research work. Thank you.